So using the solution of problem 3.96, we need to find the electric field E0 in a spherical cavity in a dielectric. If polarization is P and far from the cavity, the field strength is E. So we have this infinite dielectric where the outside electric field is E, not outside, inside the dielectric at a far away point. Okay, let's say this one. And we have a cavity inside and we need to find what is the value of E0. So by principle of superposition, we can represent this as the whole of this minus this part. Or we can write the whole of this. So if you fill inside the dielectric, same dielectric, then inside also electric field will be E. So this can be represented as the empty one where you have E0 plus you have the, the polarized dielectric. So you are taking the polarized dielectric just out, outside. So here you can see that the polarization is towards right. So if you just consider this sphere of the dielectric, it will have the positive charge on the right and negative charge on the left. So electric field is going to be towards left. So let's call it E dash. And we have seen it in the previous problem that the value of this E dash is P by 3 epsilon naught. So if a dielectric has a constant given polarization P, then the value of electric field is P by 3 epsilon naught, which is a constant electric field inside the dielectric. So now we can equate field in the spherical space. So we'll equate field here as sum of this and this. So E vector, so inside this spherical space, E vector is equal to E naught vector minus P by 3 epsilon naught. So we are writing this in the vector form. So E naught is towards right and E dash is towards left. So we are putting a minus sign here because all three E vector, E naught vector and P vector, all three are towards right. So we need to put a minus sign, which gives E naught vector is equal to E vector plus P vector by 3 epsilon naught, which is our answer. What we needed to find? the field inside the cavity. Now in the book, the answer, there is a minus sign here, but I think this solution is correct because the field in the vacuum must be greater than the field in the adjacent dielectric. So there ought to be a plus sign here. That's all.